Today we are going to use the breakout board that is provided to you in your circuits lab to implement the following circuit. This video assumes the student has already watched the plus minus power supply configuration and the breadboards videos. Please first watch those videos to better understand this one. The provided breakout board assists the student with connecting equipment to and from their personal breadboards. Here we have the breakout board and a 741 op amp plugged into a personal breadboard. The input one which is connected to the function generator using a banana jack cable is circled in red. This terminal has been connected to the small breadboard below the terminals. The small breadboard ports that are accessible to input one is highlighted with a red line. The input two which isn't used in this experiment is circled in white. The small breadboard ports that are accessible to input two is highlighted with a white line. The power supply connection plus VCC is circled in yellow. This terminal is accessible via the small breadboard ports indicated by a yellow line. The power supply connection minus VCC is circled in blue. This terminal is accessible via the small breadboard ports indicated by a blue line. The output terminal that is connected to an oscilloscope in this experiment is circled in green. This terminal is accessible via the small breadboard ports indicated by a green line. The ground or common terminals of the input, power, and output terminals highlighted here with a black circle have all been connected to each other and is accessible via the small breadboard ports indicated by a black line. To sum up the external equipment connections we have a function generator connected, a plus minus power supply configuration connected, and an oscilloscope connected to the breakout board. Let's bring back the circuit diagram again. Let's first connect the power supply plus VCC with a yellow wire from the breakout breadboard hole to the student's breadboard row where all the breadboard holes along this row will now also be plus VCC. Next connect the power supply minus VCC with a blue wire from the breakout breadboard hole to the student's breadboard row where all the breadboard holes along this row will now also be minus VCC. Next connect the ground or common connections with a black wire from the breakout breadboard hole to the student's breadboard row where all the breadboard holes along this row will now also be ground or common. We will use a second black wire to connect a second row of breadboard holes as illustrated to give easy access to the ground or common connections. Now that the power connections to the breadboard is complete, let's reference the circuit diagram and connect pin 3, circled in red, of the op amp with a red wire to the function generator. Referencing the circuit diagram, connect pin 2, circled in black, of the op amp with a black wire to the ground or common breadboard row. Referencing the circuit diagram, connect pin 4, circled in blue, of the op amp with a blue wire to the minus VCC breadboard row. Referencing the circuit diagram once again, connect pin 7, circled in yellow, of the op amp with a yellow wire to the plus VCC breadboard row. The last connection referencing the circuit diagram is to connect pin 6, circled in green, of the op amp with a green wire to the output breadboard terminal hole. 